so I have a motive in mind. My motive is to sort of make my room a little better looking. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I revamp my wall. That's basically the wall that is behind me. Just this portion. And if I get a little crazy, I might do the whole wall soon. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to show you what pieces I'm going to I have curated for the wall. How I chose them, where I found them, and how I'm going to get them printed. Yeah, there's not much to it. I have around like five pieces already on there. This is an image that I click. This is from my friend Aze. He's an artist. This the orange one is something that I made for a friend, and the green one is a dead parrot. I found all of my posters on Pinterest and made a folder. The folder has around 63 pins out of which I only printed out 20. I personally love bold colors. So all of the artworks that I chose were either in super bold colors or were sort of like, you know, quote unquote poorly drawn or were food related. What better place to browse some artworks than on Pinterest? If you have found the perfect art piece for yourself, then stick onto it and just browse down and see more pins like the pin that you just saved and trust me, it'll do you wonders. To save yourself some time and have a better curation of all the posters or all the images that you just saved, I recommend that you create a folder on Pinterest. This will not only make the whole curation of your feed a little better and more personalized, but will also help you when you're getting them printed. So today I'm going to be going to the market and yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take you guys along. Clingy bitches. excited it costed me 490 rupees 12 rupees per picture they said so that was 250 rupees no 240 rupees and then 250 they took for editing and all that shit because i just gave them pictures and they were to sort of like put it in place which i think is a lot 250 is a lot but yeah 490 in total ouch but fun got him Hi, baby. Hi. I am home and I want you all to completely ignore the fact that I don't know how to do my underwriters. Here are the prints. I'm going to show you what the prints are and then we're going to put them up on the wall. My hi, me. These things made a difference if talked about online and the answer was yes and no. Yes, because of course you're talking about it which means that people are registering it more. No, because it's an echo chamber. It sucks because a lot of people don't give a frig, a single frig about climate change. Yeah, you see it happening, you're living it. People are like, oh my god, me 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 Ha, that's because of climate change. Do something about it. Anyway, coming back to my prints. So I got around like 20 prints in two different sizes, 4x6 and 5x7. This is what you look like. All the prints that you see here are from Pinterest and I'm going to show you some. Some of them are inspired by the whole ramen culture. This is just a cute jellyfish thing I found online. So I have the four big ones in uh, however many. 20 minus 4, 16 smaller ones. So I took out the time to really decide what is the kind of vibe that I would like to soak in like on an everyday basis and this was the answer. This, then we have this. I am done! I readjusted them a little bit. So, because there was a gap for us, so I just like squeezed it all in together.
Oh, bar.